welcome back to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this smoked wind liner. As always, start with your primer. Remember to be very gentle when blending your primer. Now the next few steps are optional. I'm taking a color, a shade darker than my skin tone and I'm placing it on my crease just to define my eye a little bit more. Next, I'm taking my highlight color, placing it under my brow. Then taking a different color that's a few shades darker than my skin tone, I'm placing this on the outer parts of my crease, and this is only to create more depth to my eye. Feel free to go back and blend out any harsh lines. Now for my lid, I decided to go with a shimmery white. This is Virgin from Urban Decay, uh, but you can also choose a matte color. Alright, so those steps were optional. Let's get into the liner. So you want to use an eyeliner pencil. This one is from Lebec in the color black. And you want to place it along your lash line, very close to your lash line, and create your wing. It does not have to be perfect because we are going to go back and blend it out. Make sure you fill in under your lash line, that water line that we have, uh, so that we don't see any skin. Okay, so now with a very small brush, we are going to blend out that line, creating a smoky effect. To set the liner so that it doesn't move throughout the day, we are going to set it with black eyeshadow. Okay, so now we are taking a brown color and we are placing this right above the black and this will help us create that nice gradient effect. Take your time blending everything out, don't rush it. I know it's time consuming but in the end it will pay off, so just blend, blend and blend some more. After all that blending it's time to clean up, so grab your favorite concealer and with your concealer brush create that sharp line. Now to make your liner even more intense on the lash line, go ahead and grab your liquid liner or your liquid pen and start lining against the lash line, very tightly to your lash line and under the wing. I went ahead and lined a little bit past my natural lash line as you can see. This is also optional. Now, for my lower lash line, I didn't want to leave it alone, but I also didn't want to make it black because I feel like the center of attention should be the top part. So I went ahead and grabbed a brown, brown liner, and then over it, I sealed it with brown shadow. And this is the final look. It's really fast, really easy and simple. Uh, again, the trick is taking your time with the blending. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next tutorial. Bye!